more than eight months after North Korea's last missile launch, what could be a major blow to President Trump's diplomatic efforts with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The Washington Post reports North Korea may be developing new intercontinental ballistic missiles at this plant on the outskirts of Pyongyang. Seemingly a far cry from Trump and Kim's Singapore pledge to work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. What we see is in real time evidence that North Korean officials don't really take this very seriously. They have no intentions of giving up everything. And that comes as no surprise when you think of, uh, of nuclear weapons as being essential, at least in the eyes of the regime, to the survival of, of Kim Jong-un and his family. A U.S. official tells CNN Kim has not made a full commitment to denuclearization. And U.S. intelligence agencies believe work continues at nearly all North Korean nuclear weapons facilities, including plants like this one, believed to produce nuclear fuel. Their production capability is still intact. Their testing capability we just saw affected uh, a few months ago in the destruction of the Pungiri testing site. But production is a different question. In other words, U.S. intelligence says no significant signs of denuclearization, contradicting this tweet from President Trump one day after Singapore, declaring there is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea. North Korea continues to produce fissile material, nuclear bomb material. Is that correct? Yes, they continue to produce vessel material. Defense officials say the kind of liquid-fueled missiles North Korea may be developing right now don't pose a major threat. They have to be rolled out and fueled up before launch, giving the U.S. plenty of advance warning. The big challenge, one official says, learning as much as possible about North Korea's nuclear arsenal before they declare their inventory so the U.S. can make sure Kim Jong-un is telling the truth. Will Ripley, CNN.